Within this video, we're gonna cover how to enable replay mode so that you can capture all of your worlds inside of Fortnite Creative. We can actually do this directly from the lobby. So inside the lobby, we'll go ahead and open up our menu. You can use this button right up here in the top left or hit the escape key and just come all the way down to our settings. So this one right here, go ahead and click on that. Inside of here, we wanna go ahead and open up the settings. And within these settings, we're actually looking for the gear right here. Once we're inside of here, we're just gonna to scroll to the very bottom of this and we'll have two options that we probably wanna go ahead and turn on. One is the recording in progress indicator, just so that we know that we're actually recording. Don't worry, this doesn't actually show up in the replays, so that's good to know. And the other one is record creative mode replays. Go ahead and turn that one on. With these two set, let's go ahead and check one last thing. And that is gonna be the quality in which we're actually recording. So we come back all the way up here to the top to the little screen and you'll find a little section down toward the bottom that actually says graphic quality. So instead of here, if you crank all these all the way to the very top, you'll actually get a really nice resolution for your recordings. Not necessary, and it may tax out your machine. So just something that you may wanna actually play with. Once you've got that all set up, we wanna make sure that we go ahead and hit the apply button right down here. Then we can go back, and from our lobby, we can go ahead and just go into our creative mode. So make sure that this button actually says creative, and then go ahead and hit the play button. Once you're actually inside of the hub, you will notice up in the top right hand corner that, hey, we are actually recording. So we go ahead and just jump into a world. So let's walk over here. And here inside of our world, everything that we do will now be recorded, which is going to be really handy later when we wanna go ahead and edit this. Now, we're not gonna cover which kind of software you should be using, that is totally up to you. So let's go ahead and exit this out and see where we can actually get at these replays. So I'll hit escape on the keyboard, and down here in the bottom left, I'll just go ahead and exit all the way out to the lobby. From the lobby, what we're actually looking for is the career button up here at the very top of the screen. So go ahead and just click on that. And from here, we're gonna go all the way down to the replay button that's down here at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and click on that one. And this will give you a list of all of the replays that you currently have on your machine. If we wanna go ahead and play these, all we have to do is select one of these and we come down here to the very bottom where it says play. Do we actually wanna play this? Yes, yes we do. We'll go ahead and say confirm. Now the replay will automatically begin to play, so you can go ahead and pause and play it from right here. Let's talk about a little bit of the interface in here while we're here. So this first bar right here is actually a timeline, so you can actually jump around from place to place. Uh, just be careful if you jump too far, it may actually crash the game, so just be aware of that one. Uh, down here below, we actually have our pause, play, and replay buttons. Uh, we can actually choose which character we want to be following down here at the very bottom as well. Something that's actually very important to point out is this little camera icon right here. If we click on this, we do actually get quite a few extra pieces that we can actually work with inside of here. So auto exposure, focal length, and aperture. Uh, we also have a camera right here, so we can start to play with some of the effects in here, as well as the nameplates and what kind of HUD information we want on screen and what time of day we actually wanna play with as well. So let's go and close that one. Next thing we have down here uh, is a little icon, third person, and then how fast we actually want to play the video. So depending on if you wanna fast forward or slow things down and maybe do bullet time, you can do that one. Uh, let's talk about the third person one. These are the actual different cameras that you can use. Uh, if I go ahead and choose this drone free, I can go ahead and right mouse click and drag, and I can use the ASDW keys to move around, and then I can use E to go up and Q to go down which can be very helpful. Uh, if I go ahead and click on the eye icon, you'll notice that the HUD is fully hidden. And now I'm on PC, so if I go ahead and press the H key, as in HUD, uh, it'll actually bring some of this stuff back and I can cycle through them. Now down here below, we have all the controls for the specific control set that you're actually using. Now I'm using a mouse and keyboard, so you can see those are the ones that I have. But if I do pick up my controller and start to move around, you will notice that they all change based on that. So there you have it. That's how you can go ahead and enable the replay mode inside of Fortnite so that you can record your worlds that you've created inside of Fortnite Creative. And if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need to clear it up so that you can continue to create, go ahead and just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you when I can.